Assalamualaikum uh, to our lecturer Dr. Abdul Munir Hidayat Shalwish. This is our group member. This is Shah bin Hanapi, Irfan Hisham bin Suhaimi, Muhammad Abdullah bin Sabsuba and Vista Nadalaki Manikam. We will uh, present about our project assignment. Yeah, for some, uh, we will talk about the Hello, I'm Biswan son of Manikam. I will explain about the name of the component and quantity of the component that we used. Fixed displacement pump in one quantity, tank in one quantity, filter in one quantity, four over three way hand lever valve with shut off position, one quantity, double acting with in and out piston rod in one quantity, pressure relief valve in two quantity. Double acting cylinder with in and out piston rod and shock absorber at stroke end in one quantity, check valve in two quantity, one way flow, flow control valve in one quantity, double acting cylinder in one quantity, four way two way hand lever valve in one quantity, hydraulic motor in one quantity, pump unit in one quantity, three over two way hand lever valve in one quantity, electrical connection 0 volt in one quantity, valve solenoid in four quantity, make switch in four quantity, relay in three quantity, push button in three quantity, and electrical connection 24 volt in one quantity. Thank you. Hi, my name is Vasha Benapi. I will explain about the system. This is hydraulic circuit and this is electric circuit. In a dual circuit, we use three cylinder, two have single road and one have double road. Then uh, we run the simulation. Okay, turn on the C1. The workpiece uh, will clamp it by the cylinder. Then to use this system, turn on Swiss S3. The cylinder for the lower guide will be activated until reached to the sensor that already setting. The sensor will activate the motor drill, then the feeding cylinder move to the left to make a hole until reach maximum, then auto return back. So after return the cylinder lower guide will be retracted and not touch the sensor as far. The motor drill will be deactivated after that. Turn on the Swiss S2. The cylinder for clamping will retract. Then we can move out uh, the work face, um, the work face from the system. For information, we can control the speed of the feeding by using this one-way control buff. For example, uh, we do five. 5% Then we turn on switch S3 uh, We can see the feeding slower Move to the left That's all our presentation Thank you Assalamualaikum and good morning My name is Irfan Hisham and I would like to present about the discussion So, because we use hydro system in this circuit and that 
We know that the benefit of health system in real. The benefits are the advantages include the efficiency, power, accuracy, and ease of maintenance. But they also have some disadvantages such as leak in the circuit, which can make the circuit messy. And other than that, the fluid inside the circuit are often crusty and too pain and some seals. Next, why do we use one-way control valve to control the speed? Here is the one-way control valve. One-way control valve regulates the resistance speed of pneumatic drive during advanced and return strokes. And it also works through its suitable restriction of the flow and of compressed air in exhaust air or supply air direction. And then, why do we use clamp? The clamp is used to execute the initial movement and closing hydraulic pressure in the circuit instead of manually done by other machine. And then, there is the, the picture of clamp. And then, what is the advantage of such sensor in the circuit? It is accurately identified the health status of the system and to perform the required maintenance as early as possible. It can also provide an accurate and complete view of how the hydraulic system works. And then, here is the example of the sensor in the circuit. Yeah. Thank you for watching.